What's up, music fans of the internet? I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. And together, we are last week's album, The Only Reviews, with two different views. And in this episode, we're talking about the new album by Fair City Fire called The Simple Truth and asking the big question, does Fair City Fire set rock ablaze on The Simple Truth? Let's get into it. Cheers, Derek, and everyone at home. Cheers, Kevin, everyone at home. Fair City Fire is a quartet based in Austin, Texas, uh, who plays groove-oriented rock, as they describe it. And in 2015, they released their debut EP, Say It Loud. And this, The Simple Truth, is their debut full-length LP. So what do you think it sounds like, Derek? Kevin, I think Fair City Fire sounds like the Black Keys and Stone Temple Pilots put on my morning jacket before braiding beards with ZZ Top. It's always fun to braid beards. Yeah, like no, little known secret, ZZ Top loves braiding beards with people. As I'm sure Jim James does too. I think this sounds like Collective Soul and the Stone Foxes mix heavy rock with heartfelt passion. Collective Soul is like what I've been searching for all day and I couldn't ever really make the connection, so I'm glad you had it. <laughs> Well, let's talk about some highlights from the record. Derek, what did you like the best? Uh, Kevin, uh, standout tracks to me were Johnny, Age of Convenience, and Dying of Boredom. Johnny, the album opener, featured hard, bluesy, electric guitarists, grooving bass guitar, and active drums. One line I really liked, he says, he ain't a dead man, but he sure ain't alive. And that made me wonder, maybe he's a zombie. Age of Convenience featured really strong 90s rock sound, lots of guitars, steady drum beat. And the thing that really stood out to me were, were the lyrics uh, that took aim at so-called modern conveniences, such as having more TVs than family members in your home. And lastly, Dying of Boredom, um, again, more layers of 90s alt-rock sounding guitars. Um, and here the uh, musical angst really mirrored the lyrical angst that described life in a small town. Another lyric I really liked, I'm done sniffing glue, I'm done making out with you, a day in a podunk town. Just really well matched the sound there. I agree with, with most of you there, Derek. Uh, I also liked Johnny, Dying of Boredom and Strong. Um, Johnny I liked for its echoing reverb, sludgy bass. Some heavy guitar hooks, you know, right off the start, and some really confident vocals as well, which is something you hear a lot on Fair City Fire. And I just thought it was a great intro to their soulful rock sound. On Dying of Boredom, I also liked its revving guitars and its quick draw one-liners. I thought this one in particular was the catchiest track on the album. And then finally, uh, track number 10, Strong, is the album closer. I thought it was a refreshing change of pace for them. It's not their typical right in your face, fast from the start, grooving track. Um, this proves they can start slow and let a song build really well. And I thought it made for a great uh, ending for the overall album. With that, let's move on to lowlights. Was there anything you didn't think worked on this album, Derek? Uh, you know, not really. I mean, I thought 10 tracks, uh, 38 minutes. The trap for them would have been meandering at some places, but I never really felt like they did that. So um, I think that, you, you know, by avoiding a lot of those potential pitfalls, I mean, for a really, you know, tight album. Yeah, it was really tight. Um, I did think there were a few things that didn't work, at least for me personally. Um, I thought at times the lyrics were a little cheesy, uh, particular on In Search of Your Midnight Kiss and Strong. And uh, finally, I don't think they've nailed down the slower numbers yet. They're really good at these fast, in-your-face, heavy rock tracks. Um, but I didn't hear any slower ones that I thought they really pulled it off well on. Good, good point. All right, let's move on to overall rating and answering the big question, does Fair City Fire set rock ablaze on The Simple Truth? Derek, what do you think? Kevin, I think the simple truth is they do set rock ablaze here. I really like the strong sound, um, you know, especially the rock numbers, the really fast, pa faster paced ones. You could hear a lot of different elements or genres being utilized throughout here. That 
allows them opportunities to create a lot of different sounds or um, giving something for everyone to kind of enjoy here. Their strength when it comes to a catchy hook driven rock number is off the charts. So that being said, the strong numbers on here were exceptionally strong. And I thought the less strong ones were at least strong enough to pass muster. So I'm going to this, this one four out of five. Right on. Um, we'll agree and disagree. Does Fair City Fire set rock ablaze on the simple truth? I think so. I think their energy uh, comes across really well on the record. I can only imagine that their live show is something to see. Uh, I would echo your sentiment that there is a lot of variety uh, sound wise here, Derek, but also subject matter wise, um, these interesting topics they top tackle um, on different tracks keep it an interesting listen. I think they've got a really solid, confident sound uh, that's only going to get better with time. So I'm gonna give The Simple Truth a three out of five. So combined with Derek's, that makes a seven out of 10 for The Simple Truth by Fair City Fire. So definitely check out this album and let us know what you think about it. And don't forget to subscribe to us here at last week's album, either on the YouTube or the podcast. We are the only reviews with two different views as always, I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. Cheers, guys. We'll see you next time.